can see that in the last decades a lot of initiatives have been going on on the regional level, national levels and European level. And I think all these initiatives have been very successful in um, motivating teachers to try out innovative approaches to teaching. If we look at, at the aver average classroom, there's still a lot of kind of traditional teaching going on. And so we are not at a point where we can say it's all done, it's finished, all these initiatives have reached all classrooms. So we need to go on and I think change will happen slowly but surely. So it's important that we continue our efforts and so I see for 2020 that we can say, well, we have made some progress, but it's not the end, we have to go on. I think teacher education is, is also very important to enable change in science classrooms. And actually teachers love to collaborate. I do a lot of professional development courses for teachers and I very often hear as a feedback after such a course, well, it's good to, to exchange with colleagues who think the same as we do and we love to collaborate. Um, but actually, at school, collaboration between different teachers often doesn't happen. And of course, we have to ask ourselves why and what can we do? And I think in order to promote this teacher collaboration, we need some systemic change at school. It is actually a big challenge for teachers to change from the kind of traditional teacher-centered teaching to a more student-oriented, active learning for students. Because the role of the teacher actually changes completely from an instructor who knows everything to a facilitator who supports students in their learning processes. And this complete change of role is, of course, difficult to establish. It's, in many cases, it's not easy for teachers to understand why it's so, so necessary to do these changes. So we have to work on this. And um, also the, the assessment system in schools does not always value these innovative approaches of teaching because it, in many cases it still, um, it still asks for recalling facts and for mastering algorithms. We need a massively scaled up professional development and pro uh, provide long-term professional development for teachers. And long-term actually needs long, needs, means long-term. It's not like three days are sufficient. They need support over years. And we also need to promote the idea of lifelong learning because that's important for teachers to go on with their learning. And furthermore, we need to change assessment um, as to promote innovative approaches of teaching and also we need to reduce the workload of teachers so that they have the time to change. I think industry has a very important role to play because um, well one of the main major goals of the European Union and as of industry as well is to get more students to pursue science careers and in order to do so, we, we need to make science education in, uh, interesting for students. So they need to learn about where you can use science, what kind of science careers there are at school. And teachers normally came from school to university and back to school and don't know much about it. So if practice, research and industry cooperate in finding these interesting bits to put them out and to um, bring them into science education, that's very important because students need to, need to get a rich picture of where science can be used.